Okay, everybody, here's a complete uh, marching drum line for sale. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, everything we have, but basically, um, 10 snares, 17 harnesses all together, 9 snare stands, um, 6 sets of tenors, 5 tenor stands, 4 tenor back bars, six bases, six base stands, and some extra parts. Uh, so real quick, here's some uh, couple extra um, harnesses, longer J bars for tenors if you like that. Snare number 10 is uh, missing a couple down tubes or the tubes I, and a couple nuts and bolts here and there and some rods on the bottom. Good snare for parts. Couple, uh, couple parts, and you got a complete snare. Um, and then going down the line, these snares are complete, ready to go. Um, some of the, uh, some of the snares on bottom have been snipped, just for a tuning thing. But they all have throw-offs. They all have snares. Um, good set of drums. Uh, so there's a harness with each one. The adapter for the harness. A stick stand. Uh, we don't have the rods that go in the stand. I'm gonna try and buy some or make some up, but there you go. So these nine snares pretty much match. And uh, let's just go down the line here. And maybe I'll flip them over so you can see the bottoms at the end of the video. I just don't want to spend for forever doing that if you don't want to watch it all. Um, this whole set of drums, you might need some nuts and bolts. I would say take the whole set apart, get a bunch of guys together, girls, whatever, take everything apart and uh, fix it up, grease it, all that kind of thing. So, two brand new spare base lug casings, six claws, two brand new down tubes, some reinforcement rings for the tenors and various parts, uh, a 12 and a 14 inch hoop, Four bottom hoops for the snares used. Uh, two brand new top hoops for the snares. Um, the various quad uh, nuts and bolts and everything. A couple spare parts for the stands. Um, you have enough to get four sets of tenors going. Uh, a brand new, never used, never drilled, has some factory holes, spare uh, 13 inch tenor drum. Okay, so the tenors, you have 10, 12, 13, 14, two six inch drums. Each set has a deep six inch drum and a cutaway six inch drum. One of these six sets has two deeps. So you can mount the two deeps or cut one away if you want or use the six set of spare parts. Um, you have a stick quad stand um, calling these back bars or you know you gotta bolt everything together to get it going uh, the harness looks like the J bars are set up for snare but they work I think these came off the field in 06 and were packed up like this uh, so on all of the tenors um, just inside the playing zone on the 10s and 12s you can see a little bit of what's not perfect, but the drums were used for two seasons. Uh, all the reinforcement hoops are in there um, and just wear and tear. Uh, they're a great set for a beginner line. Heck, you could, I won't even say beginner line. Um, there's a couple Parts mix, missing, but there's enough parts to put everything together. So I just haven't gotten that far yet. Of course, the heads are used. Uh, set number two, missing a J-bar there, but there's 17 harnesses all together. Uh, there's another set, so oddball heads, just missing a rod and a, and a lug casing. Um, let's go back over these. All right. Uh, set number four. And then um, you have set number five, harness 
all you're missing is the the back bar. But I, I believe Gator Cases still makes that type. Um, or you could just change everything up. Uh, one person I talked to considered just redoing shells and getting all new hardware. Here's set number six. I packed it away to get a shipping quote uh, from the guy that bought them, and then I just never heard back from them. So, huh, they're packed away. They're the same as the rest of the sets. Okay, bass drums. Um, these are X brace or keyboard stands, but they work good for this purpose. You have uh, two Premier harnesses. That's it for the bass drums. The rest you'll have to harness up. So I believe 18 inch drum with a brand new spare hoop. You can put that on. Um, MX1 heads. Uh, drum number two. So I guess 18, 20. There's a 22 with some uh, a couple oddball Remo heads. The uh, rods on the other side will be need, need to be replaced. Ten rods. They just have some some cheapos, but uh, in there holding the holding the hardware on. Um, that's a 24 or 26. I don't remember. And uh, a 28. They're all 14 inches wide, standard width. And then you have this big 32 with white claws, if you'll notice. And the drum is 16 inches wide. It's a big drum. It's really not that heavy. But, uh, gosh, that's everything. So it's a lot of drums. And um, if you're still watching, we're at six minutes. I'm going to go ahead and flip the snares up. I hate to bang them around like this, but there's all kinds of different heads on the bottom. Oh, there's another tenor. There's plenty of parts. So missing one little... Uh, receiver there so one snare got missing out of that one uh, a couple more guts cut away from the outside uh, I would leave all these heads on <laughs> myself but that's up to you all right so they cut those away from the middle and uh, looks like a rods missing there uh, which is what the number 10 drums for spare parts um, more guts cut away uh, right. And that's dirty isn't it and uh, Let's see drum number eight uh, More guts cut away So those can be replaced more guts cut away uh, probably the guys on the end, right? And of course, drum number 10, the parts drum. Good set of guts. So there you go. That's a lot of equipment, guys. And um, message me, email me, call me, whatever. I'd love to get rid of these drums to free up room in the uh, storage unit here. Thanks for watching.